Space for listening. When we pray, how often do we say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. More often, I think we say, Listen, Lord, for your servant is speaking. Robert Wicks I have a friend who periodically loses her voice and has to speak in whispers. One day she called me and whispered for 15 minutes. It took a lot of energy for me to listen intently so that I could hear what she had to say. I think this is what it's like to be attentive to God. God often speaks in whispers. If my life is crowded and cluttered with many thoughts and feelings pushing their way around inside of my head and heart, I may easily miss hearing what it is that God wants me to hear. Listening attentively is essential for spiritual growth. To do this, we need open minds and hearts, emptied of the clutter that blocks our way and crowds out our life. Listening is especially difficult to do because our external world is so full of noise. We unconsciously learn how to tune out or ignore many of these noises when we are not deliberately paying attention to them. As we become accustomed to tuning out these external things, we develop a pattern of not listening internally as well. Besides clearing out some of the noise and the ceaseless activity, I think that listening also requires that we become more comfortable with being. Being helps us to develop awareness, to focus more keenly on our inner activity without needing to do anything, except be attentive. Beatrice Bertrou writes, Listening is a non-productive, contemplative activity, a kind of striving not to strive, for self-striving would make noise and prevent us from hearing. This is tough to do, especially if we live in a culture that promotes constant activity and productivity. Every part of our life has something to offer us for our growth because God is there in the midst of it. When I give myself to attentiveness and deep listening, I find I discover God everywhere. I hear connections with my deeper life in music, in correspondence I receive, in telephone calls, in the people I meet, in what I read and touch and taste, and in the insights and emotions that arise within me. Listen. What do you hear? Breath prayer. Breathing in. I listen. Breathing out. You are here. Reflection. Hold the cup in your open hands. See how the cup sits there quietly. Picture yourself in the Divine One's hands. Go to the stillness deep within yourself. Allow yourself to be attentive. Just be with God. Listen. Scripture, Psalm 85, verses 8 to 13. Let me hear what God will speak, for God will speak peace to the people, to those who turn to God in their hearts. 
Oh God, you constantly try to get my attention. You stir and call in the most unlikely places of my life. People and situations that I dismiss as not being able to contain your presence. You beckon me to those corners of my inner being where I've yet to discover you. Open me so that I will not miss your presence today. Help me to learn how to be and to let go of my need to be swallowed in activity. For one hour today, I will be especially attentive to every piece of my life so that I will find God there.